Hey, it's just so Trish, and I want to talk to you about how I'm reorganizing my ACE record keeping mid year. So, here we go. Okay, so remember the beginning of the year? This is my planner. Um, I'm kind of running into it. I love my planner, but I kind of use it more for a calendar and keep the kids records or like their upcoming tests and all of that. Using this, I'm kind of using it more for a calendar and I put all my like dates coming in and then I was trying to keep all my tests in, but I'm not going to lie, it's a bit big and I have a really cool planner because I'm a planner addict. So I wanted to rearrange the way I'm keeping my curriculum. So I had one of these envelopes, envelopes folder systems where really this is just a so I have it I have the home educator manual in there because I'm still referring to it from time to time just to check like what they say about certain things all right inside has a pocket and then I have these four pocket tabs and what I've done I've reprinted my grade master record this one is Addie's, and what I've done is I've color-coded them the way they were, and then I gave myself a spot where I'm just writing in the booklet, the date, and the test score. And then what I'm doing is when I'm pulling the test, I put the test, when I'm pulling the test, I'm putting those tests behind it. Now then when I grade it, if I don't want to pull out my big envelope, I just put the graded test behind it. So it's not, it's kind of a short term keeper keeping spot. I'm not the best about putting everything away. And so having a dedicated, dedicated spot to put their test until I come in and put them away. So I have that done for everybody um, in here. And then here's the test I've already graded and here's a new one. So everybody has their test. And then about the end of the week, I'll go through and make sure I pull out all of my tests. So when I'm done with my test, I've been keeping them in here. I have the kids color coded. So each one has it in there and all I'm doing is keeping their test. Sometimes I let them do just a self test. And if they score well on the self test, I won't make them take the actual test. I will rip out the self test and I put them in here. I have a bucket in actually the closet of the toy room that I'm throwing all the paces. I haven't thrown them away yet. There's something inside me that gets nervous about doing that. So I just throw them in there. And I've had a few times where we've gone and dug in a previous pace because there's a piece of information or something that we're looking for. And with allowing my daughter to do some of her paces, skipping through, if she knows a th one of the sections really well, I'll let her test out of it. And we've done that from time to time, but then we've also had a point of like, don't you remember where that was taught? And it was when we skipped. So we pulled that old pace back out, looked at it, and then she just needed a review of a page or two. So we've done it that way. So this is just another idea for organizing your paces. Um, another thing I do want to tell you, and I'm really, really excited about this. I have recommended the Facebook group for ACE moms a lot. And apparently they've had a lot of growth and their admins have had a lot of stuff going on and I know that a lot of you have not been able to access that group or have been denied access or not have been acknowledged. I'm so sorry but I do have to tell you there is a brand new Facebook group for ACE mom support. So I'm going to put the link down here. She's one of the original founders from the other group and she's spun off and created this group. She She is building up the file contents. So if you have been looking to be in the ACE Facebook group, here's a new group. I think you're going to have no problems getting in. And I really just want to open that up for you to make sure you join this Facebook group. I think you're going to get a lot of help from it. You'll be able to go to and have community, especially if you tried to get into the other ACE Facebook page in it definitely go check them out. I've talked to the founder who has opened the 
person who's founded this new group and let her know that I'm going to be sharing the group here on my face on my Facebook page on my YouTube channel and just to let you guys know that that's a great place to go so there you go let me know how you're um, doing on keeping your records one of my favorite things about ACE is actually just the ease of knowing what I got to grab out of the book knowing what I need to grade and what part I need to be in and kind of getting to feel more like a coach or an assistant and not the everyday lesson giver and I really enjoy that and the fact of how easy it is just to keep all the work together it's not a bunch of paper everywhere because well I'm cluttered as it is I don't need any help with my curriculum to be a cluttered mess so anyways I will talk to you later I hope this helps peace out